Hey, YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update on Bitcoin, Litecoin, and XRP. So we're going to go through all three of those today. Guys, we're also going to go over a Bitcoin article, something pretty interesting here. It says Apple considers cryptocurrencies. And obviously, as we know, that's one of the biggest companies in the world. So that's something we really want to keep our eye on. And, you know, as we're in this space, guys, I know a lot of people can get discouraged when we're seeing the price action go all over the place. But you have to realize we're in so very early, and that's what I'm hoping to bring to you with this little article about Apple here. So if you like these videos, guys, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I appreciate you being here with me today. If you hear some noise in the background, that's my son. He's in here with me today. So he's probably going to be screaming a little bit or just a little noise in the background. So just bear with me. I'm on dad duty right now. So I just want to give you all the fair warning there. But we'll get into Bitcoin here. So guys, first of all, let's do this article. And this is Apple is watching the crypto market. This is by Carlos Terenzi. And this is, let's see, use the Bitcoin.com. And basically what it says is Apple considers cryptocurrencies have long-term potential. Apple is watching the cryptocurrency market. Apple is one of the most important companies around the world. The smartphones produced by the company are among the most valuable in the market and have reached a large number of users in all the continents. The firm has also entered the payment industry through the Apple Pay services. Apple Pay was introduced back in 2014 and a few months ago the company released a new Apple card that is backed by Goldman Sachs. Nevertheless, Apple has never informed anything about adding crypto solutions to their product. Nonetheless, Jennifer Bailey explained that Apple is watching cryptocurrencies, but consu consumers shouldn't expect anything in the short term. Indeed, the company has always been very cautious and conservative with the products launched to the market. In general, it waits until a specific technology has already reached the market and has been tested several times before trying to offer a new product or service. The cryptocurrency market will take some time to be regulated, but it is being legitimized more and more each year. And it goes on to talk about more, but I just want to put this on your radar, guys. When I tell you that you're early, we're still in that very early adopter stage, and that's a big deal for us. You know, if you're in at this stage, you know, it could be something special down the road long term for you. So just be aware that that's why we see such volatility in this market is because it's still such a young market. All right, guys, so we'll get into this. Now, with Bitcoin, what I wanted to point out here. We're still chopping around in this little descending triangle, almost like flag looking pattern right up top here. And now the difference is you've heard a lot of people talk about the descending triangle that we dealt with back here. Now, this descending triangle was coming off of the bear market. As you can see, we were in that downtrend right there. And what was happening, guys, with the descending triangle, we had that flat horizontal bottom. Then we were having lower highs. And you can see we just build up candles. We're getting smaller and smaller and smaller till we finally broke. And we broke from around $5,900. We went all the way down to dollars $3, $3, guys. So almost 50%. So what I wanted to mention to you up here is with Bitcoin, what we're paying attention to, we're having that descending triangle or flag pattern up here, depending on which one it's going to turn out to be. Because remember with chart patterns, guys, until you have that breakout or that confirmation, they're just a pattern. They're, they're, they're not confirmed yet. Okay, but the difference is we're in an uptrend with this descending triangle pattern that we're dealing with here. Okay, so this almost could act as a continuation. A descending chart pattern, guys, is a bearish pattern in general. It breaks to the downside more than it does to the upside. But this is a little different since we're having it at the top of an uptrend here. And what I did in the last video about Bitcoin, we looked at the encyclopedia chart patterns and it said typically that if we do get an upward breakout, it would be anywhere from about 35 to 45%. So we went conservatively up to 35%, guys, and that would end up taking us up around that $14,210 mark so this previous high which would be good because what we've been having is these lower highs we need to come up set a higher high higher low and then get out of there guys that's what we're going to be targeting to the upside if we do have some type of flag breakout but remember we can chop here a little bit longer just like we did in here with this apex and another thing to pay attention to is volume is the excuse me, decreasing, which happens a lot as well when you're looking at these descending triangles there. So to the upside, we're going to be targeting around that $14,000 range if we can get a serious break out of here. To the downside, guys, if we do have a massive downside break of this descending triangle, we'd probably look down to around $7,500. And what I did for this, I took off all the moving averages. So we weren't even looking at any of the moving averages. We were just strictly looking at price action. So what I would look at here, guys, is the 200-day, 
moving average right here in white. That's going to be the spot if we do break down to the downside. Then I would look at first that around that 8,490. Then I would be down here looking at roughly about $7,400 to the downside if we are to break down through there, guys. So the main things I want you paying attention to is this uh, 200 EMA, and then we're also going to look at this 50 moving average right here. That is now, guys, we are up above it just slightly. If I zoom in here, you can see we're having a lot of fight up here. We ended up having a doji candle right up top, right there. So we were having a lot of fight, a lot of indecision. And that was also coming at a spot where we were having this minor lower high here, which is around $10,928. So that's what I wanted to point out on Bitcoin here, guys. We're going to see if this 50 acts as support and we get a breakout up through here and try to test this upper trend line, or if we're going to see some more rejection, we bounce around here a little bit longer. So I'm really keeping my eye on Bitcoin because that's going to basically show what the market's going to do for all the altcoins right now as well. So the next one we're going to get into is Litecoin, guys. If you like Bitcoin there, smash that like button. Litecoin, we're at $64.56. We're seeing that rejection here, guys. We've really been paying attention to this downward trend line. That's been the biggest thing for us. What we've been having is lower highs and lower lows. And now what we're looking to see, guys, if this is going to be a lower low or if this is going to end up being a higher low where we're at right now. And what happened was we broke out through this trend line, but we did not close up above 3%. So that was a false break right there. It didn't come on a lot of volume. And now we're getting pushed back down to the downside. So we're going to see if we find some type of support here, maybe set a higher low, come back up, set a higher high. You can see my alert for Litecoins at $71.24. If we are to make a move to the upside, I want to know about it because what we're going to have to do next, guys, is get back up above this chop area of resistance because we chopped in here for two weeks or so and then we broke to the downside there. Then we came back up, set our lower high, and we're just going to have to see what we end up doing with this trend line. It's going to be very important, guys, if we do end up getting the trend line break to the upside you can run very hard and very fast but we have to take into consideration we are having a death cross of our 50 moving average down over top for 200 EMA and that's something we really want to keep an eye on but for Litecoin right now guys we're just kind of in that sticky situation we're gonna to have to see if we keep seeing rejection by this trend line or if we're gonna have a trend line breakout that's what I'm looking for so with Litecoin right now guys we're at 6456 just be very careful I want to throw on one indicator here for you we'll end up just doing our relative strength index take a look at this but go into all the indicators guys really take a look for yourself I just want to do this quick for you today so on the RSI, we basically got a double bottom around 26, and right now we are at 33.80. So 30 or under is going to be that oversold territory. We're not there yet, but we're really flirting with it. We've really just been moving sideways here as the price is going down. So we want to really look at that, guys, and just pay close attention to it. That's all I can tell you right now. We're just going to have to wait to see what Bitcoin does. If Bitcoin starts breaking to the upside, Litecoin could potentially get a nice trend line break out of here. If not, we're going to start seeing rejection. We could come down here to even that 60 and then $50 range. That could definitely happen guys and I just want you to be prepared for that and then we'll look at XRP <clears throat> all right so XRP what we're looking at here is XRP on the one day like we were talking about and this is gonna be guys on the USD so right now we're at 25 cents our RSI is at 35 so we're getting closer to that oversold territory right there but still not there yet so let me get get rid of that what we're looking at though guys is basically this area where we had a bottom here, so we hit 25 cents here, and then it was about a week or so apart, we hit it again. We hit it over here, and now we're sitting directly on top of it. So this is kind of a key area of support here, and we're going to have to see if we can get some type of bounce off it. We had a longer wick here, which kind of looked like it may have been that capitulation dump, because sometimes, guys, you'll see that big dump on heavy volume there. And you saw that wick, and we got bought up, but we still only set a lower high lower high here and what we're trying to set now is a higher high so with XRP USD right now you know what I was looking at and I was showing people on the one week chart in yesterday's video we're starting to get a bullish stochastic cross and we're in extreme over overly sold territory for XRP on the one week so if I were you guys I would really check that out because it could be a great spot to slowly start accumulating the XRP the last time we had this massive breakout here we went from 25 cents all the way up 
to three dollars and twenty seven cents and it happened in about a month and now we're back to those same areas guys and what happens is it seems like these market cycles kind of repeat themselves and right now we're in that accumulation phase as to where if you can accumulate even now between that 25 cents and even if we drop down to around 14 or 15 cents there that could come pretty close to the absolute bottom for ripple to where if you're accumulating in that spot you can be ready for the next time that we will have that blast off and what I've really come to see guys is that you know maybe not all the poop coins are gonna have another market cycle again many of them are gonna die out but a lot of these bigger caps you know the light coins Moneros XRPs dash just a lot of these ethereum coins they're gonna have another market cycle but it's gonna take time you know whether XRP doesn't get back to its all-time high or even a dollar for the next six months or a year that's more time to potentially accumulate if you're looking to go longer term on these type of coins because you know guys XRP is getting a lot of looks here and it could have a lot of institutional money coming in down the road right now the volume has been so low but when you get spikes of volume that come in like this and guys dump billions of dollars in at one time that's when price can really spike and what happens is you need to have those coins in your possession so you can take advantage of that pump it's kind of hard to buy into it a lot of the times when it's already ran so hard so fast you'll be looking at it up 30 percent a day and you'll say man i don't want to buy into that and then it can push up even farther you know and that's what you really want to look at here with xrp litecoin bitcoin some of these other ones so with xrp here i just want to get into a few indicators with you and see what it looks like on the one day on the one day We'll end up going to our stock first. Take a look at this. So our stock, we're at 56 and 61. So we're a little bit more neutral there, guys. But we are getting a bearish cross to the downside through that. So that's something that you do want to keep on your radar. And also, guys, we have had a death cross up above us here. I wanted to point that out of our 50 moving average crossing down over through our 200 days. So that's going to be important. Right now, guys, I don't have my 10 EMA up or 20 EMA. I didn't want to make it too complicated with a bunch of stuff on the screen here. I just really wanted you to take a look at the price action because right now guys we're starting to just move sideways right now and that's something we want to really keep our eye on next one we're going to go to our MACD MACD histogram starting to tick down into the negative guys we are still up above here so we are we did have that bullish cross and we have moved to the upside but we really want to take a look at that for the MACD we're getting kind of in a sticky situation there and then we'll end up looking at guys let's do our Bollinger Bands because I'm sure they're getting pretty tight now so with our Bollinger Bands they're getting tight and what's happening is we're having this middle band which is our 20 moving average acting as overhead resistance right now so guys that's what I wanted to bring you a lot of things right now on the one day chart they're looking a little bit more bearish for XRP like we could go a little bit lower but like I said watch that video from yesterday and I'll put it up here in the cards that basically showed that we're extremely oversold on the one week chart and what you want to do if you're a longer term investor you want to start out at that one week and then work your way down to the one day and the four hour you know the one hour all that type of stuff to try to plan your entry so guys if you like these videos like subscribe hit that notification bell let me know down low I didn't want to keep you too long today I just want to keep it more simple and look at the price action because we're in a very sticky spot for Bitcoin and Bitcoin is going to determine the path for all these other altcoins here it's just how it is guys and i just want to want to put it out there for you so let me know down below what you think i'll try to get back to the comments tomorrow the best that i can guys god bless and take care